something has gone wrong on the channel tunnel, so we're delayed. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. You join me, Taylor Hetherington, and Rory Mackay behind the camera. And behind us, you join my latest, not purchase, but giveaway car that I was given. Well, it was more of a gift, wasn't it? It was a gift, yeah. yeah. So a uh, massive shout out to James from Questionable Car Club and also Colin from Bearded Explor Explorer, who came to this unit earlier this week on Monday and gifted me a car. The reason they did that is because they know I like shit cars. We like shit cars. Yes. And uh, James said, I have the shittest shit box known to man and you're gonna get it. It sounds like a van. Why does it sound like a van? Good morning, Alex. <laughs> oh, it's a Citroen. Is it a BS? It's a, it is a BS. Hey. The finest car ever made. Oh, I do by like France. Oh, look, it's so shit. <laughs> and yeah, I was uh, I was quite surprised. If I don't look like I was really, really happy about it, is because at the time. I had a bad back, or as Taylor oh, likes to refer to it. Rigor mortis. Rigor mortis. Yeah, so yeah. I was in so much pain, and I was also dosed up to the eyeballs with ibuprofen and paracetamol. So if I didn't look very grateful, that's why. But I am very grateful because we have got that Edith. Is a shit excuse, you ungrateful old git. Thank you very much. So welcome everybody to Edith, uh, my Citroen BX Estate 1.9 non turbo no diesel turbo. yes oh as you can see she is a bit of a uh, patchwork quilt of parts and bonnet is different to the wings and the seats the seats actually come from three different cars the mileage is 147,000 miles it's brand new it's got an mot it's got good tires on oh, it i really like this yeah i've always wanted a bx yeah, yeah i really like the citroen bx yeah. i've never wanted one but now i've got one i'm I very really very happy like about it, it. Rory, this... what do you think it's a bit shit. It is shit, it is shit. It is <laughs> that's shit. what we love. I, this has got hydraulic <coughs> suspension as well, hasn't it? It does, that's what makes it really special. Explain to everyone how hydraulic suspension works. So it's got a big tank full of hydraulic fluid and then there's some accumulators on the tops of the struts and then there's struts, but you have no springs. It just looks like you've got a shock absorber. Yeah. And then it pressurizes with hydraulic fluid and you can adjust the ride height as you go along. As you drive. So you can slam it or you can have it in normal driving mode or you can go off-road mode. Yeah. And, and the whole idea was that back in the day you could like drive these across a field and you know, they were very good for pothole and cobbled roads and Indeed. things like that. So a car like this probably worth, I don't know, 250, 300 quid as it sits. Um, and I think uh, we should go for a little road trip. Uh, this is Edith, by the way. We know nothing about Edith. So uh, today is Thursday morning. We arrived at the unit and we were like, what are we gonna film today? And then Taylor decided on an idea, which was? Go and get some lunch. Yes. So we're gonna go and get some lunch, but we're not gonna pop to Tesco. We're driving this thing to Paris <laughs> today. Let us <laughs> pop the bonnet and then show you underneath. Yeah. Underneath Edith. I, I like Edith. She's got good bones. And do you know why she is called Edith? Uh, why is she called Edith? Because of the very famous French song. No, not the one by uh, Frankie Vincent that goes, Tu veux mon zizi, oui, oui, tu veux mon zizi, oui, oui, which is a song that you'll like. But um, Edith something, and the song is, no, je ne regrette rien. <laughs> no, je ne regrette rien. So this is the engine and it's very slow. Yes. Because as you can see, air filter, inlet, no turbo. Mm. It's someone's nicked it. Yes. It's just disappeared. So we checked the oil earlier. That's fine. It's, it's there. Very black. We don't know what the timing belt's like. Uh, this, as you can see, has, well, I topped this up with fresh coolant earlier because this was empty and it's got feces in it. Put your finger in it again. Go this, on. Do you know what this is? What? This is candy up. Is it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is nice. That is fresh coolant I've just put in there. Yeah. It has got a radiator leak, but we're just going to wing it. And if we've also, I've made an executive decision that if it does break, then Rory's got to fix it. Because yeah. he's really good at putting hoses on on the side of motorways and stuff now. So he's had plenty of practice. He's good at that. Um, other than that, it's a bit rusty. It's a little bit shit, yeah. but it's cool. Starts on a button once you let the glow plugs warm up for about two minutes. 
Yeah. It does take a while. Yeah, they uh, do. That. There is some rust, namely here, 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 and here. Yes, and there. Yes, yes. So uh, Edith is very rusty, very old, very ropey. Same. Uh, Edith was also in a crash at some point, which is why this wing has been replaced. And you can see the crash damage there. And there's a little bit of a, I've still got poo on my You finger. do have poo, uh, but we've got a single wiper arm for the windscreen wiper, which is just very cool and very funny. Does that mean it's a BTCC car? It must be, yeah. Uh, inside we've got a, I think it's a five-speed manual gearbox. So the funny thing is, none of us have actually driven this car, so we don't know if it works. All I do know is it's it's come from the south coast to here, driven by uh, Colin, Bearded Explorer. Look at this, Rory. So earlier on, I was looking for the radio and I found this little cover and it's got the radio from a Volkswagen Golf. So it must work. But when you turn the ignition on, oh shit. It does absolutely nothing. So we've got to drive this to France with no radio. This car has also got uh, an end cap crash rating of uh, minus five, <laughs> which is nice because if we do crash, then we'll just be poof, vaporized. So there what will be no me? suffering. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at the boot because there's a lot of space in there. Obviously, sporting the uh, shipbox right. appreciate. Well, are we ignoring something else here? It's yeah, it's got a tow bar. Oh yeah, look, look, um, look at that suspension. Oh my That's nice. So, so that is in normal driving mode. Mm-hmm. And little pebis. It's got a little pebis coming yeah. out the bottom. It's got a li little rusty sausage. This is from another car. Okay, why we is don't that in that there? there? Why are there so many interiors? In this look at this. Oh wow, it's got rear blinds. I don't know where they go or how they work. Do they slot Probably in there? From a different car. Yeah, Probably that's from... also from a different car because that's blue. <laughs> so let's. <laughs> oh yeah, that. look, that's black and yeah. this is blue. And have a look in the boot. So I've added the obligatory AA um, pack for driving in Europe. Also a ratchet strap in case Rory gets a little bit frisky and we have to time down. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and then all of this came with the car. So. That's always a good oh, sign. Oh, actually, no, this is ours. It's but always what do we a good sign. Here? We've got oh, deionized water in case we get thirsty. Coolant, which is, where's the lid for that? Oh, there's the lid. We should probably put that on. Yeah. Bottles of oil. Does that, yeah. Uh, and yeah, just, just everything that points to a car that is very ill. And a lot of cable ties. Oh my God, that is a lot of cable ties. Yeah, and we have oh replacement wipers. <laughs> that is a big cable tie. Look, Look at, at the size of that, Rory. Oh, we Where do like it. Uh, that's coolant. <laughs> I think the coolant has leaked from the radiator to the back. Yeah, it's, it's just blowing back. <laughs> so, that. Very practical though, look at how spacious it is. Yeah, it is nice. That is a quick tour of Edith, sorry, my new Citroen BX courtesy of my good friend James and also Colin Bearded Explorer. It has a tow bar, it has a non-turbo diesel engine. And now we're gonna take this completely untested for us car to Paris. For some lunch. Yeah, for some lunch. Shall we? Yeah. Before we head off though, a reminder from me that if you want to buy yourself a used car, van or motorbike, make sure you run a car vertical report on it first to ensure it's not being crashed, stolen or clocked. If we take this Range Rover Classic as an example, I have run the numbers. And as you can see, we have got green ticks for odometer, finance and damage that tells me that this car does not have a shady past. And now for an example of a car vertical report that would make me run a mile, check out this Range Rover. And we can see we've got a green tick for odometer, but amber warnings for finance and damage. So we want to check those out. And in some instances, you can see we've got some pictures. And although the damage doesn't seem to be too catastrophic, you can see that it has had a bit of an accident. We'll scroll down, have a little look at that finance, and we can see that there is potentially still outstanding lease on this motor vehicle. So if you were to see this for sale as a clean titled car, you know that that's a big fat lie. So then again from me, if you want to buy yourself a used car, van or motorbike, make sure you run a car vertical report on it first. What's more, you will get 10% off using the code AUTOALEX. Right then, let's hit the road. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. We're just know. trying to figure out how to switch the lights on because later it's going to get lit. So this is, that's horn. Yeah, this indicator. Is, this is high beam. Main beam. Oh, maybe it twists. Oh, oh there we go. There we go. It's got no label on it whatsoever to yeah. say that that is the headlights. Uh, also, Taylor noticed, I don't know if you can see that down there. That is a symbol for a turbocharger. Yes. So this car does not have. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, first drive then. And we're making it a long one. To Paris. Mm -hmm. To Paris? Let's go. Let's to go. To Paris. Look at this. Oh no, that's that's high. <laughs> Look. Look! Wow! <laughs> he gives the bonnet a wash. Look how well. advanced this motor bit. Wait, hold on, let me just slip the clutch as we exit. <laughs> there we go. That foot flat to the floor. The rev counter doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> wow, it leans. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. While we're doing that, while we're doing that, let's oh. go into let's go into high mode. Are we sure we want to mess about with the suspension on this trip? Oh, 100%. Let right. me just do a quick roundabout in high mode. Oh, there's actually a lot less body roll. That's quite sorry. good, isn't it? Sorry, yeah, sorry. <laughs> But oh, look, it moment. stiffens up the chassis. Oh! My God. oh! <laughs> <laughs> we can take this on the track day. <laughs> Should we go by the Nurbo Group, see if they'll yeah. open up for us for a day? <laughs> we have done two minutes in Edith. Everything is fine. And I am 100% certain that we're going to make it to Paris and back. On quarter of a length. No, the needle's already gone down a little bit. So. Is it actually? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so lads, I've got a bit of history on the BX. Oh yeah. yeah, go on. So this is apparently one of the first cars where diesel engines were considered to be quite refined. Really? So, which to be fair, I think it is, it is all right for a diesel engine. Yeah, I don't think it's bad at all. Speaking of diesel, I can smell a lot of it. Can you? Yeah, I can yeah, smell Yeah, they didn't diesel. say it worked, they just said refined. Okay. But it is, when you, to be fair, it's quite refined. Yeah, When you say that. you can smell diesel, as in neat diesel or exhaust diesel? Me yeah, both. So the BX launched in right-hand drive in the UK market in 1983. Oh, oh wow, that's quite early. Yeah, and it only had a 1.4 and 1.6 petrol engines. Okay. So the diesels the, came in slightly later. Oh, because back then, diesels weren't really a thing. They no. were not frowned upon, right? Yeah, they were, yeah. So apparently, this won many Tow Car of the Year awards. Did it? Yeah. Oh. Well, I suppose because it's got this suspension, when you put loads of stuff in it and attach a caravan, it will self-level itself. Yeah. This is very clever, this car. I like yeah. it. I like it. So we have the Citroen BX TXD. Yeah. How many do you think of those variants are still on the road today? Why don't you... Why don't we guess first how many BXs full stop? All right, how many BXs do you Ooh. think? Oh, oh, right, I, right. I actually reckon there's quite a few because BXs sold really well. They were really popular and they were quite long lasting actually. So let's go registered, taxed, MOT yeah. on the road today. BXs of any variant, I'm going to say 413. I'm going to say 5,000. 5,000? Yeah. Are you mental? It's yeah. going to be in the hundreds. Is it? Is it? There are 350. Oh, I was a little bit. How do you think just... there were 5,000? When's the last I time you know. saw a BX on the road? Oh, right, I'll give you that. However, let's dig down even more deeply. So, how many of these? Yeah, how, how many non-turbo well, diesels? If, if states? Any time I've ever seen an a Citroen BX, it's never been an estate. I'm going to say registered on the UK roads of this variant. 12? I would say about the same, probably about 10. There are 17. Oh, 17? Oh, oh, this, this common, is out of all of the categories, is one of the more popular models still on the road. Really? Yeah, yeah. Really? All right, we have now made it to Folkestone. The Channel Tunnel, we've done about 90 miles in Edith. And yeah genuinely not set a step wrong, a foot wrong. The um, fuel gauge is still full, which is very nice. Yeah, it is. It's on maximum, isn't yeah. it? I had a little nap. You did have a little nap. It's very comfortable. It is very comfortable. Was, sleep for most of the was I were. actually? No, you were asleep for about 20 minutes. Oh, okay. But, sorry, but, but, I'm very happy with Edith. Completely untested. And here we are, 90 miles later. Don't speak too soon. Alex, what's happening? 
uh, something has gone wrong on the channel tunnel, so we're delayed by a long way. Uh, we should have been on the train about 20 minutes ago, so it's just a waiting game now. So our trip to Paris is delayed, which is very annoying. But we're comfortable and we're happy and we've got each other, don't we, Rory? Yeah. Yeah. And Taylor's shitting in a building up there he and is. there's a burger van just there. Yeah. So that roof on the toilet is going to be blown off any second now. Update. We've just watched a very interesting reel from Mike Fernie on Drive Tribe about the new Ferrari film. Um, we've been waiting for what? An hour? Hour and 20. Hour and 20. And... It says that we're going to be leaving in the next 10 minutes, but it keeps on changing. The reason that we're here is because the French are being French and they're striking. Which means that we are completely at the mercy of the French. Mm. They just, can't be asked to do anything. They're They've decided. Lunch, they're just they? like, I cannot be bothered. We've been disassembling. Oh, trims. yeah, yeah, update. <laughs> 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 so yeah, everything's everything's a bit loose. Also, I'll let you do it. Shit, hang on, do that again. Cut. It's because I didn't want to let hit, you do it. I didn't want to hit you in the hey, pain. Hang on, it'll be alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it passes the Taylor test. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no more updates from the car because we haven't actually driven anywhere. But I mean, we've been in there an hour and a half and it's quite comfortable, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah but I'm the, just bored. It now says that the next train is going to leave in an hour. <sighs> sake. Oh. Shall, we, shall we have a look at the coolant levels? Oh, 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 shit. It's, where's it got? Remember last time, what, two hours, three hours ago, Taylor put his finger in and it was covered in shit. This has got no coolant left in it. Oh, there is literally nothing in there. Where's it all got? Oh. <laughs> Suspension. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, don't do that because if we lose the suspension, we lose the brakes. Oh yeah, there's literally nothing in there, Alex. Right, okay. Good job we checked. Oh no, it's got a, it's got a child lock on it. Well, that's you. Oh. All right, ready? I've opened the bleed screw. Oh shit. That's a lot. Oh shit. Is that more than we put in? Yeah. Oh no. Where's the water? Let's go get some water. <laughs> also, Rory, I've just taken a police grout. Look at all the feces on the end of it. <laughs> oh, why do we do this? <laughs> Does that mean we're cleaning out the system? Yeah. <laughs> hold on a second, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> We've cleaned it out. <laughs> do you want to watch it if I do it? Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get your lip around it? <laughs> oh my god, that is so rough. That is so disgusting. <laughs> You're doing it on the battery. <laughs> oh, it off. There we go. Just leave that there. <laughs> Get a bit of water. An actual. You're right. Oh! <laughs> Are you vomiting? <laughs> We're causing a scene in the queue of the. Oh! <laughs> Is that enough now? Is that... <laughs> oh my god, it's... what has come out of your nose? <laughs> there we go. Oh, she got a cram. <laughs> right, Edith is topped up. <laughs> An hour later, we finally got some news. So, what time is it now? 
13, no, 2 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock. We should have left at, what, 12 o'clock? No, 11.45. All right, 11.45. Oh, right, we were in the queue for um, some food at the burger van. The lady has run out of food, obviously, because she wasn't expecting all of these people to be here. And then a man came over and told us that he's spoken to an official, a Eurotunnel official. And the long and short of it is that no one knows when the French are going to start working again. They're striking because of bonus pay or lack thereof. And therefore, we are currently stuck. We would probably be here all day and all night. Um, so apparently what's going to happen is that officials are going to come to each of our cars individual, individually and then offer us some sort of ferry ticket to get over to Paris or to get over to Calais, by which time we will be five, six, seven hours delayed. Yeah. Uh, we asked if we could leave. No, you're not allowed to leave. Not allowed to leave that way behind us because it's a one way street, which makes no sense because no one's coming in anyway. And there are people in the queue to leave up there, but they're also being held. Whenever anything goes wrong at the Channel Tunnel, it goes catastrophically wrong. And yeah. it's not an hour delay. It's usually seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, mm -hmm. 12 hours. I've just gone and spoken to a young lad who works for Euro Tunnel. And I said, if we go down that way, will you let us out? And he said, yes. Hello, mate. Ticket. Uh, what ticket? That one. that one, yeah. Yeah, are you traveling or do you want to go to the boats? Uh, we, uh, we probably don't want to go to the boats either. We probably just want to leave and the, just change the, our plan. Uh, are the boats going to be carnage? The boats are going to be carnage, aren't they? Well, we can transfer you over free of charge. But yeah, but will they be carnage? Will we actually get on a boat? That's the question. The industrial action's on our side. Oh, is it? On their side. You lazy <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not us, it's the French authorities. Okay. But if you were to transfer us to the boat, would we actually get on today? We transfer you to P&O. Oh. Oh, the food shit on P&O, isn't it? <laughs> can, can, <laughs> this is why I work. Can, we, can we have a P&O ticket, please? I'll transfer you over if you want me to. Yes, please. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Do you have any pets on board or anything? No. Uh, well, a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> so when you get to P&O, hand it to them. They can sort out the rest, OK? Nice one. Thank, Thank you very much. much. you got to take them, man. Follow my colleague, he'll take you out, OK? What's your name? Gary. Thank you, Gary. Right. We like you, Gary. Shake my hand, please. It's all right. Thanks, I'll Gary. Don't worry. Don't worry. Nice. You've seen me before. I'll That's why you're helpful. I'll keep it quiet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gary. Gary, well done, Gary. We like to drink with Gary. Because Gary, Gary is our mate. <laughs> and when we drink with Gary, we drink our daddy. Oh, it's Kent Police. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> He's just admitted that on camera. Leave that in. Leave that in. Oh, oh he slipped my clutch! He slipped it! Yeah. Uh -oh. Many hours later than planned and avoiding the P&O dinner options like the plague, we finally made it to France. Right, so we have just landed now in Calais. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> 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 I'm sat next to Pierre Le Burgler. And we have a, a three and a half hour drive down to uh, to Paris, where we're going to have a... We're not going <laughs> to... What time is it? Oh. It is 20 past eight. We're about to get off this P&O <laughs> and then uh, we'll be in Paris by midnight. <laughs> oh shit, midnight. Are we going to be able to check in in time? Oh shit, we're going to miss out on beers as well. Oh. oh no. So yeah, that's an update from the flight deck. Uh, so we've got a lot of driving to do uh, through, through France to get to Paris. Any more words? <laughs> I can't take you seriously in that response. <laughs> you? Look at you. You look like a really shit fat mime. <laughs> Anyway, let's hit the road. But before our three-hour journey, there was one thing we had to stop off for. France's most loved delicacy, candy up. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Candy up, cheers. Cheers, cheers. cheers. cheers everyone. We'll see you in the morning. Mm. Oh, that is nice. That's a bit shit, though, isn't it? 
think it tastes better in Calais. And like, good night, everyone. Cheers. So it is the morning after the night before. We all slept in an Ibis budget, which is really, really budget. I mean, that's the worst one we've ever been to, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that was a lot worse than the, the one in Belgium. Indeed. Uh, this car park not only stinks, but it reeks of piss. And I mean yeah. reeks of piss. If you have a look over there, Rory, that Toyota Avensis, there is a pipe above it, which is currently leaking. That is a, uh, that is a soil pipe. So yeah. people who do their wee-wees and do whatever, it is literally leaking onto that car. And that car has been sat there for years. Yes, and we've parked pretty much like, what, five meters away from it. Mm. Anyway, uh, woke up, we all walked into the car park and we were like, ah, oh. It is just so yeah. weird and so bizarre to see this car that has no right being so far from home being in a Parisian car park. And we are very, very proud of our Edith, aren't I, we? I really like the BX. Yeah. It's actually such a great car. It's yeah. so interesting as well, and it's got a great character. It, it really is. And uh, I think this is a car that's really getting underneath our skin. Um, mm. Anyway, we are going to take Edith, probably for the first time, to the center of Paris to show her the sights and sounds. So why don't you come along? <laughs> Look at this, Edith. There you go. We're taking you to your spiritual home. Ah, Oh, I got it. Yeah? Hit me up. HMU. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, here we go. <laughs> God, we're going down the... Oh, there's carnage. Right, carnage. I got right of way. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit. There wow, we go. The, op, the tree off is big. Look at it. Wow. Wow. Oh. oh. Oh, wait, 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 Right, we should see the big, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. It's Look a, at that. It's a little bit foggy. Ho, ho, ho. Edith, you've only gone and done it. She has. Well done, Edith. Well done, Edith. And oh, go, oh. Right. oh. That way, that way, Alex. That way. Thank you, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Oh, look at it. Wow, there it is. Oh, Edith! Go on, girl. Yesterday, when we were stuck at that train port, I genuinely didn't think we'd be here. So no, we? same. Yeah! <laughs> so we finally made it to Paris. A remarkable achievement for an old shit car that wouldn't look out of place in a scrapyard. Meaning that once again, this ropey Citroen is proof that crap cars can and will do you proud if only you'd give them a chance to shine like we have. Okay, so it is a, a day later the plan, but as you can see, we have finally had the meal that we wanted to drive to Paris for. It was supposed to be lunch. It is the next day and it has turned into breakfast. But yeah, what a breakfast it's been. It doesn't matter, I'm happy, we've eaten. Indeed, and we've got Edith over there. We're very, very proud of her. The yeah. car that we didn't expect to make it, genuinely, we thought there was gonna be a breakdown. Because of the Euro Tunnel cock up, we didn't think we'd get here. Genuinely, this time yesterday, we were sat at the port, and I did not believe we'd be here at this point. Yeah. At, it, at all, like. Yeah, it was it was a nightmare, but I'm really glad we've made it. We've Indeed. had a fantastic time. Yeah, we've had a really good laugh. I actually woke up this morning with a bit of head a bit of a headache because we were laughing so much yesterday. Yeah, 
And yeah, we've formed a special little bond with Edith, haven't we? We have. She has definitely got underneath our skin. We love Edith. We're very, very proud of the old girl. Um, a car that probably should have been scrapped a few years ago is now in Paris, living her best life, as are we. Uh, Rory, any more final words? Uh, no. Shall we head back? We should probably head back. Uh, thank you, everyone, who watched this episode. Please like, subscribe and share. And also, thank you very much for um, supporting us for this whole year. It's been, um, it's been a roller coaster. We've had a lot of laughs. And it's a great way to finally finish a year in Paris with a shit old car, which is the ethos of this channel. Exactly. Anyway, from us, um, Merry Christmas, if we haven't already done that. Hope you had a good Christmas if we've already been there. Thank you very much. And we will see you in the new year. See you later. <laughs>